Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and you're gonna love this video, right? It's about 80 volt versus 56 volt. It's about battery technology. It's about which platform would you consider cutting, bagging, and detailed specs. Hang tight, here we go. All right, guys, so to your left, you have the 80 volt Cobalt Max, okay? A brushless uh, mower with a steel deck. To the right, you have the Ego Select Cut Dual Blade Polycarbonate Deck. We're going to go over what's included now, all right? So uh, just let's take a good look at what's included. So let's start off with the Cobalt. Um, the Cobalt does have its bagger, so it does come with that. This is a 3-in-1, so it is going to be coming with a mulch plug, as you can see here, a side discharge, which is actually on the side, as you can see here, we have a fast charger, and later on I'm going to show you a little bit more on the batteries, the battery technology, also how long it took me to charge these batteries from zero all the way up to full. This is, by the way, a fast charger with a fan, as you can see here. There's your fan, all right? Um, here's your battery, okay? And we'll talk about batteries later, but um, the one thing you'll know about the battery here is this is a very square battery. Um, and that's going to be a disadvantage in, in some ways. This does have a fuel gauge with three bars, all right? One, two, three. This is an 80 volt, five amp hour battery. They also make one that comes with, I believe, a four amp hour battery. Now, this, by the way, this mower goes for $399 average price, okay? Now, let's take a look at the Ego Select Cut. All right. So, it does come with a bagger, of course. All right, and then you do get a rear side discharge. This actually goes in the back and it'll shoot out this way and it'll send uh, the, the side discharge from the back. I'll show you that later. You do get a mulch plug as well. You do get a fast charger. This fast charger also has a fuel gauge with one, two, three, four, um, you know, bars. So 25, 50, 75, 100, and of course a built-in fan to cool it while it's charging and cool it after it's charged. Same thing as the Cobalt. This also comes with a 7.5 amp hour battery, 56 volt, and uh, you, you get, which is really nice, you get five bars, and they represent 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And think about that. You go out one day to mow the lawn and you only have two bars. Do you really have two bars or do you have a bar and a half? So that's why having more bars really pays off. We'll also talk about arc lithium uh, battery technology a little bit and how it really compares to what's out there, okay? Um, that's it, guys. That's what's included. I wanted to make this short and sweet. And this whole review, by the way, is really going to be you making the decision on what works for you. What do you like? What do you not like? I'm just going to give you the information. All right, guys, so it's time to do the Cobalt 80 volt max walk around. So we're going to talk about some specs. We're going to look at some things. First and foremost, an 80 volt brushless motor. Okay. This also has a 21 inch steel deck. Okay. Very, very strong steel deck. Now, Will it rust at some point? Probably. It just depends if it gets scratched and the paint comes off. All right. So the advantage to it and the disadvantages to it as well. Uh, the blade underneath is 20 inches. I will go ahead later on and show you uh, under the deck. We'll measure the blades. You'll take a look under the deck as well. Height adjustment settings. There's seven height adjustment settings. Okay. So they're going to go down here and show you the height adjustment settings. Now, really nice mechanism, I have to say. I'm a big fan of this one. Um, One-handed, you can drop this all the way down, or you can go up as slow as you want. Now, some people need to hold on to something while they do this, sometimes. It just depends on how strong you are. Look, this is a 68-pound mower, if I'm not mistaken, and we're going to show you specs later on as well. All right? But I love the mechanism, and it really seems that spring back there is really, really strong. Okay? Um, by the way, the height adjustments basically will take you from 1.38 inches at the lowest setting to 3.75 inches on the highest settings. All right, while we're here, let's take a, a look at the wheels. 
All right. Oh, take a look at the wheels. So um, these wheels here are a little bigger than the Egos. They're uh, 10 inch in the back and eight inches in the front, okay? I'll try to see if I can get you a nice zoom in here on the wheels. Nice uh, thick rubber, really solid rubber. Okay, ball bearing wheels as well. So they're going to glide really well. All right, the battery compartment. So let's take a look at the battery compartment and let me grab the battery as well. Um, and I, look, I like comparing these things because it's good to know, okay? So here's our battery compartment. All right, let me raise the camera up a little bit so you guys can see. Zoom in just a little bit more. All right. Okay, so you do have a window in your battery compartment. Um, and just so you'll know, your battery compartment does not stay open. All right, so it does not stay open. Um, let's put the battery in. Let's take a look. So I've got the battery here. And let's just slide this in. All right, now when you put it in, you want to make sure you push it in. So you hear that click. To release it, just push this blue uh, level up here, the lever. All right, okay, so in. The other thing I want you to see is it does have a key here on this side. This key, and let me see if I can zoom in. All right, this key on the other side does come out. You can remove this key in the case where you don't want your children playing with this by mistake, um, turning it on its side and the blades making some damage. So it does have a key to do that, okay? When you close this, one thing I've experienced so far is these don't light up um, because the handle itself actually has um, the fuel gauge, which is kind of nice. It's right in front of you. So as you can see here, um, the fuel gauge is on the handle. You press the bar, it'll light up. You get one, two, three, four, 25, 50, 75, and 100. So that helps while you're out mowing, okay? What else? Um, Let's see, uh, this, just so you'll know, does not have LEDs. So if you're looking for mowing, you know, uh, late at night, maybe one day, you might decide, hey, I'm gonna mow, it's gonna be a little late possibly. Um, it doesn't have any LED lights, okay? Um, what else? Uh, let's go over how the mulch plug goes in, the side discharge, and then I'll show you how to fold the mower. Now, before I start that, I always take my battery out, okay? So let's just do that now. Safety-wise, you never leave a battery inside of a mower, especially when you're turning it upside down to, to sharpen the blades, etc. okay? So let's go ahead and uh, put the mulch plug in. Let me take the bagger off. So, um, Taking the bagger off or putting it on, you just gotta pull this. It seems to have a pretty strong spring. Lift this up, take this out, throw it on the side, okay? Now, you wanna put your mulch plug in. It's very simple, only goes one way, but believe it or not, I fumbled and had some difficulty doing that. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, uh, okay, so. All you do is take it, all right, adjust the camera, and put it in. That's it. You're done. That's your mulch plug. Okay, close this up for now. Now, what about side discharge? Well, side discharge, um, basically you've got your side discharge, and I want you to see it has two grooves, one and two, okay? Now the camera's gonna be a little funny on this one, but I prefer to show it to you. So let's go ahead and raise this up. All right, so you lift this, it is strong, so just be aware. Now I want you to see when you're looking under here, and let me see if I can zoom in. All right, there are bars down here, okay? One bar on this side, one bar on the other. And what you do is you just take this and tuck it and now you're in, and now your side discharge is on, okay? Now let's go ahead and fold the mower. Now the battery is out. So that's a good news story, right? You want your battery, battery to be out. 
All right, so in order to fold this, you're gonna need to pull this out, turn it to the side. Now, on the other side, as you can see, this mower has three handle settings. We're gonna go over handle settings later. How high does this go? How low? Is it good for tall people or short people? So, we'll take this, open it up, and now we take the bar and we slide it this way. Now, when you're gonna store this, just so you'll know, there's a lock setting. So you see here, and I want you to see it before I put it down, there's a hole here, okay? So all you do is get this into that hole and you do the same thing with this guy. All right, now it's locked. Now, because it's locked, you can lift the handle to lift the mower, okay? So let me lift the mower, all right, and just show you how easy it is to put it on its side. There it goes, guys. Doesn't take up much room. Okay, nice. Doesn't take up much room, and later on, we'll take a look underneath the deck. But next up is the Ego Walk Around. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and move forward with the Ego. This is the 56 volt Power Plus. It has a brushless motor, okay? This has a 21 inch polycarbonate deck. All right, so a real hard plastic, I would think, is what that is. And listen, this is the second generation I've had besides the previous model. Now this mower also has dual blades, okay? Uh, the Cobalt has a single blade. Um, Let's look at height adjustments, okay? It has seven settings, just like the Cobalt, okay? So you've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. You have a one-handed adjustment. Now, again, very similar to the other one. I myself like grabbing onto something and just kind of making the adjustment. Um, for some people, you can just do it. It's not too bad. Um, I find the cobalt mechanism to be a little easier, just a little bit, that's all. Now, as far as adjustments are concerned, at the lowest setting, you're at one and a half inches. At the highest setting, you're at four inches, okay? Let's now take a look at the wheels. All right, so, zoom in here. So, um, on this guy here, you have nine inches in the back, okay? Again... Pretty nice, strong, durable wheels. Um, never had an issue. Definitely have more usage time on this one. Um, on these front wheels here, uh, these are seven inches. Okay, so not bad. Good wheels. Ball bearing as well. Very, very smooth. Definitely helps you get down the road to have ball bearing wheels. Let's look at the battery compartment. Okay, so one thing you'll note, this does stay open. Okay, it also has a window. Let's leave it open for a minute. Let's go grab the battery. All right, I want, to, I want you to see that go in. Now, when this battery is in the mower, it actually will light up because there's no fuel gauge on the handlebar. Um, there is a light gauge on the handlebar, which is right here, okay? So it will be red, yellow, orange, and green. So there that goes. Um, but when it comes to LEDs and knowing how much time you have left before you put your battery in, uh, this is the big, that's the big one there, okay? Now, I don't, I have not seen, and I cannot find a key on this. So uh, in the past, there used to be a removable key. There is none. Now look, when it comes to mower safety, take your batteries out, never leave them in the shed, Never leave them in the sun. Never leave them in extreme cold or extreme heat, okay? Um, very, very important in making your batteries last longer, but it's in, all right, very easy. Again, use this lever, pull this up, pop it out. I'm gonna leave this out, okay, because we're gonna be closing this in a few minutes. I wanna show you that this one does, not, does have LED headlights. And again, if you're going to mow uh, at night, if you're going to mow when it's just getting dark, you do have LED headlights here, all right, just so you know, all right, so that does have that. Let me put the mulch plug in. Let me do the side discharge. Let me do that first, okay, because I really want to show you. So one of the things I like doing 
is I like to just kick this up, okay? Press that little handle. I then remove the bagger, okay? And I'll show you how to put the mulch plug in, and I'll also show you how to put this the rear side discharge, so I'll grab both of these guys. Okay, so first off, let's, let's go ahead and put in the uh, rear side discharge, oh, excuse me, the, the mulch plug. So you lift this up, and you put this guy in just like this. Handle, okay, like that, and you just put it right in, and you're done, okay? Now, if you're gonna do a rear side discharge, basically, um, there's some grooves down here on the bottom, all right? So you're gonna see that this actually will slide in there. So let me put this in, and then it's very simple, guys. Once it's in, you close this, and now you are ready for side discharge. It will side discharge the grass from the rear. All right, interesting, huh? Okay, you take that out, and leave it out. Now let's look at closing the handle, okay? Um, uh, so let's do that. So the battery is out before we close this up. So again, we start off by opening these latches, okay? Open this latch. Now you wanna push the handle down like such, okay? You wanna lock your handle, lock the other side as well. And now, all you do is grab your lever and you're gonna kick it twice. We're well, not really gonna kick it physically. You just push it in, it goes there. If you wanna get access to your bagger a little bit easier, you go one more time, it goes down and it locks. A little easier mechanism here on the Ego versus the, the Cobalt. I, I just, I like this, it works well. Um, now, you can lift it by the handle, right? So here you go. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put these side by side because we are gonna take a look under the deck. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're gonna take a look under the deck. I'm also gonna measure the blade. I also wanna measure the distance between the blade and the front of the mower. Um, I'm gonna be using this Crescent Lufkin shock force, um, you know, uh, tape measure. It's not a regular tape measure, guys. Check this out. Look at these numbers. Do you see how bright they are? They're written on both sides. And this guy also has, look at this grip on the top and the bottom. I will put my short review if you guys want to see this in the upper right hand corner. I love this tool. So let's do some measurements now, okay? Let me make sure I'm zoomed out as much as possible. And uh, what I want to measure now, and I need to adjust this camera as much as possible because it's just definitely a mechanism here. So let's go ahead and I'm trying to get as wide shot as I can. Let's measure the blades, okay? So I want to measure blade tip to tip. All right, so I have a 20, 20 inch blade on this guy, okay? And you do have a polycarbonate deck that needs to be cleaned. All right, your mulch plug goes here. All right, that's why there's an opening, just so you'll know. Um, as far as uh, where your blade stops and where the fun begins, one thing I love showing every single time is how much room is it from here to the blade tip? And sometimes from here, right? And that does help when you're cutting. So let's take a look. So if I go from here to the blade, I am about four and a half inches, all right, there. All right, now if I go up a little bit more to match the tip, which is here, and I am trying to show you the best I can, guys. Um, you are at about seven inches. All right, so there's a seven inch gap from here to the blade and a four and a half inch gap from there to the blade, okay? Now, let's take a look at this guy. Here's the cobalt, 80 volt max. Let's take a look at a measurement on the blade. All right. I do still get a 20, a 20 inch blade. All right, tip to tip, it's 20 inches. All right, um, now gap wise, let's look at the gap. So if you move your blade up, all right, there it goes. Um, I get 
from the front. Yep, I'm getting four and a half inches. All right, so I get four and a half inches before the blade meets. So that's very equal to the ego, except it goes up to seven when you're, you're actually touching anything around here, okay? Now, one thing I wanna do is I wanna show you the motor. So I'm gonna take this off to be able to do that. Now, one thing I do like about the Cobalt is the motor is actually covered in a housing that actually has to be unscrewed, all right? So the motor is, really, you cannot see the motor, okay? Now, what Ego's done, okay, is Ego has the motor exposed and probably sealed extremely well, but I like looking at details, guys. Again, I've not had a problem. They both have five-year warranties, uh, three-year on the battery, and a five-year on the mower, all right? There's a good, you could see the size difference on the, uh, the wheels if you want. <laughs> All right, so a little bit bigger wheels too. All right, guys, so I hope that helped. Some good stuff and more to come. Okay, guys, so now I'm on to handle height. Okay, and uh, let's take a look at handle height. So first off, both mowers are at the highest setting for handle height. Now, I am a little over six foot tall, so if I take my hands, this isn't bad, okay? But this is the lowest I'll be able to handle without having to be a little worried as I go down to more settings, all right? This is the highest. Now, this handle works better for me because I can grab onto the sides or I can hold onto the top. All right, you can hold on to the top when self-propel is off. You can also buy the non-self-propelled model. You'll still get the same handle, okay? But, you know, for someone taller, this is a little easier for me, okay? Again, move over. You know, I now have that, okay? And, uh, you know, just want to give you that. Now, if I lower the Ego down to the lowest setting, all I do here is grab one handle, Go down once, go down twice. I am now at the lowest setting. I'm going to bring these guys down. Now, Cobalt's mechanism is a little different. You do have to open up these latches. You pull it out, turn it, okay? Now, the weight will be on that. So you have to kind of lift this up while you turn it and you pull it. Now, I'm going to go down one more. I'm going to lock it in place on the bottom, the third setting, as you can see there. Okay, let's do the same. Let me zoom out. All right. And now I'm locked in place. Now this will be harder for me, but I do want to give you a view. So I'm going to pull back and just give you the best view I can give you so you can see handle settings. Now if I walk over, okay, if I just walk over, here's my hands. Let me move this up a little bit, okay? So those are kind of straight next to each other. Now, at the lowest setting, I am definitely gonna strain my back, so I'm not gonna use this. But if I move over, okay, as you can see, I now have to drop my hands more. This will not work for me at the lowest setting. But for someone that's shorter, it will, right? So this goes down shorter, it isn't as tall. This goes down short and you have the side to hold on to instead of the top. Okay, so this, you know, the Ego definitely has better positions for the handle, but they're, they're both good mowers, right? And that's how you adjust your handle, and that's how they measure up. All right, guys, it is now time for me to do a cutting demo here in the backyard. The grass is nice and high. Brooklyn is eating plenty of leaves, as usual. She's not wearing her cone, which means she's doing better with her allergies. So let's go and uh, take, up, take a look at the 80 volt uh, Cobalt, KD, 80 volt uh, Max versus the Ego 56 volt Power Plus Select Cut. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Cobalt and uh, then we will do the Ego. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, push this in. Oh, by the way, 
let me stop for a second. By the way, they are both set on a setting number three, okay? Just so you know, all right? I know you all like to see everything. So, all right, here we are. One, two, and the next one is three. So we're set there, okay? And uh, let me just go over to the cobalt. And uh, one, two, and three. All right, so let's go ahead and do this demo. You guys ready? I hope so. Let's see what happens. I'll walk back a little bit. I did cut it to a three, and so it should be, it should be definitely noticeable. Um, looks pretty clean. I do have one area that has a little high, you know, a high piece here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's that's a little high right there. So I don't know how it missed that, but it happens. Um, you know, it's okay. It happens on the ego as well. Okay. But nice and clean, that is a three on the cobalt, all right? Well, let's go ahead and grab our three on the Ego, all right? Boom. Set up the camera a little bit better for you guys. Okay, so just a simple cutting. We'll do some mulching in a little while too. As you know, I am bagging now. We'll do some mulching in a little while. But, um, you know, look, the, the only area I see so far, and again, let's just go back. Let me double check and see if I've got any high blades. You know, it happens once in a while. We don't like it though, but it happens. Okay, so as you can see, the middle is high in the middle here. Um, and I'll walk on the middle section now. Okay, and I think, like I said, the only area I see that was kind of missed a little bit on the cobalt side was a little high grass here. So, a little high grass. You know, just a drop. Again, it happens. It's not a deal closer there, you know. It's not a, you know, it's not going to matter. All right, now well, let's go ahead and do, um, let's empty the bags out. We'll just take a look at the mulch. And then we'll do a, uh, we'll take the bag off and we'll put the mulching plugs in and see how that works out. Okay guys, I just moved the handles a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, the cobalt bag out first. All right, let's just take a peek. Again, we did a short patch, so shouldn't be anything earth shattering, but let's take a look. Let's take this guy, move it over here. We always do this little comparison. Brooklyn, stay. She'll eat this grass, that's the problem. So let me just shake this out. All right, put this over here. We gonna get, Brooklyn, stay away from the grass. Go over there, go. Go over there, go. Otherwise she'll eat the grass, that girl. Okay, sorry guys. Um, what happens when you have a pet you love. All right, again, let's take out the ego. Brooklyn, no, I knew it. Go, go away, go. Otherwise she will eat the grass, this girl. All right, let me empty this real good. She loves grass. And she loves leaves. All right, ego. All right, guys. So let's look at it from a pile perspective, okay? 
So ego from the top, cobalt from the top. But now what I want to do is I want to adjust the angle of the camera so I can just kind of show you from a height perspective. Let me take this off, guys, just so I can give you that height perspective so you can see how high the piles are. All right. Well, it's not easy to take off, to be honest with you. So let me try one more way. All right. There you go. Okay. So height perspective. Um, there you go. The uh, cobalt. Okay. And the eagle. So they do look very similar. I mean, eagle looks a little higher. I don't know why. I mean, you know, the uh, cobalt, if you saw the video I did on the leaf cleanup, the cobalt seemed to cut a little shorter on a three. I'll put that video in the upper right hand corner if you want to see that. All right, right up there. Um, I did that the the other day. Um, but mulch wise, let's see what we're dealing with mulch wise. So, you know, looks looks uh, cut up pretty nice. I don't see any big, big stragglers. Okay. Um, Take a little pile from uh, cobalt. Very similar again. I don't really see any big, big blades. You know, I always look for that, but it did seem to do a good job. Both blades are pretty sharp. So guys, you know, I think uh, we're kind of even here. You know, I got a little more gla grass on the uh, Ego. Don't know why, but not that much to uh, give it to anybody. Again, I'm leaving this up to you guys also. All right, the next stop I'm going to do is some mulch cutting. All right, so we'll see what that looks like. All right, I'll mulch cut with the bags off and the mulch plugs in. Be right back. We'll start off with the Ego, neck to neck. Again, they are set on three. So let's do some mulching. back what I'll do maybe you know let me just get the cobalt done and then I'll come back and we'll take a look uh, from there okay um, as far as mulching versus bagging and how well they mulch okay because the mulch look very similar so let's take a look let's just get this done ah, it's chopping up a couple of things on the lawn Okay, I mean, a motor sounds powerful. All right, let me take this off, and then what I'm going to do now is just kind of give you the best view I could. I am in the middle patch, uh, mulch wise. So far, they look pretty similar. Okay, I don't see any major, you know, clumpings, you know. And I went from, I think the blade was. The, the grass here was probably at about a five and I went to a three so not a lot of grass you know I do have another section that is a little higher and I can probably do that quickly to show you guys but looks pretty clean to be honest with you um, yet I'll tell you on the side where we did the bagging I did notice a couple more stragglers here, you know, on the on the cobalt side, just you know, again, a couple of blades of grass, just sticking up a little higher than the way we cut it, you know. Again, I'm just kind of showing you what I see because my eye can see better than what a camera can. And then obviously this one I showed you earlier, this little kind of patch here. So you know, the cobalt for some reason when it was bagging, didn't do as good of a job. Eh, nothing major, but when it was mulching, it seemed to do fine. Okay. Okay, guys, so this grass is definitely about an inch higher than what I just cut. All right, I did let it grow for a little bit. So 
equally on both sides, on the Ego side and the Cobalt side. Um, the other thing I want to mention too is I am using a gimbal on a chest mount, which wasn't easy, but you know, um, I will plug in a video of me doing a test cut, okay, with the Ego in a moment, right now coming up. Afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and show you the test cut now and show you how smooth it is with a gimbal, okay? Uh, I will also include this gimbal in my links because this is actually an affordable gimbal for a smartphone. I found a way to put it on the chest mount, which is pretty cool. Let me start with the Cobalt, okay? And uh, let's see how she does. All right, again, we are on a three on the higher grass. I'm going to go all the way to the fence. All right, so I didn't lift the mower and nothing. It boggled down a drop. Up like a mower should do. And I'm mulching. All right. I'll step back, and you'll definitely see a more noticeable uh, cut here as I go back. Okay, because we definitely cut this down. All right. Again, I do see one or two stragglers, and what that means is blades of grass that weren't fully cut down. Now, I went nice and slow, just so you'll know. I didn't go fast, and I will do the same thing for the Ego. All right, and I hope you see the difference with the gimbal versus without, because that, that's pretty crazy, huh? So, let's do this guy here. Start it up. I'm not going to lift it this time. Always a small boggle unless you lift the mower up when you start it. But let's go. Take this off and walk our way back so you guys can see some of the differences in general. So I do have my first spot of clumping here on the cobalt side, just a little clumping here. So far, first, uh, first sighting. Um, I do have some clumping on both sides as I go back. So yeah, and I'd, I'd expect that. The grass was higher. So here's the ego side, a little bit of clumping. Um, but small pieces, right? This is good for the grass. This is, goes right in. It feeds your grass. And yes, more on the cobalt side. So no big deal, guys. Stragglers, different story. You want to make sure that your mower is cutting your grass. And it's not leaving big pieces of grass up. And I'll show you in a second where I see the cobalt a little bit. Um, but I'll go back. All right. Okay, now I started all the way back here. All right, again, we cut it to a three, which definitely, with this patch of grass, is more noticeable. All right. Okay, now, stragglers, again, not too many, but let's see. Um, I see one here on the ego side. All right, here's, a, here's one here. Maybe one or two, right, on there. Um, I see some here on the cobalt side. So, again, very similar comparison. You know, you've got some stragglers here. Not as many. All right, guys. Hey, guys. So I want to just show you the gimbal. Now, this is a hairbrush, right? I want to show you how small this gimbal is. Check this out. This gimbal is the size of a hairbrush. Isn't that cool? And this is the one that I've been using lately. And I'll tell you, the videos come out smoother. It is very affordable. I'll definitely put the link in the description. But definitely check that out, huh? Nice. 
All right, guys, now we're going to go over specs. And what I'm going to do is I am going to bring up a sheet so you could see on the screen the Cobalt specs will be on the left and the Ego specs will be on the right. So, first of all, cost the Cobalt is about $399. Um, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to get. Uh, sometimes it's on sale. Okay. Um, the self propel model does go for about 100 more, maybe you know, 150 more. Uh, the Ego sells for $649, and sometimes it's $599. Now, the model number on the Cobalt is KM5080-06. The model number on the Ego is the LM2135SP. Uh, the Cobalt is 80 volt. The Ego is 56 volt. They are both, both brushless. Um, as far as torque, I really couldn't get specs that I was able to point in the direction. Um, I'm hearing that the Ego has a little bit more torque, but until I can come up with a website or somewhere where I can give you that, that's legit, um, I'm not going to share that. The deck size you know is 21 inches on both. The blade side is 21 inches, uh, 20 inches on, on both. Keep in mind the Ego does have a dual blade. It comes with three blades. It actually comes with the upper blade. The lower blade is replaceable. You get a premium bagging blade, which is uh, packed in the box, and you get a premium mulching blade, which is pre-installed. All right. The deck material, you have steel on the Cobalt and polycarbonate on the Ego. Cutting heights, uh, the Cobalt does get down a little lower at 1.38 inches. The Ego is 1.5. The height, the Ego gets a little higher at 4 inches. The Cobalt is 3.75 inches. They both have seven settings for height adjustment. They both do bagging, mulching, and side discharge. They both have uh, one-handed height adjustment for the uh, height. The Ego has LED lights to mow when it's starting to get dark. Uh, the Cobalt does not. They both fold. The wheel size, uh, the Ego has bigger wheels, 10 inches in the rear and 8 inches in the front. The Ego has 9 inches in the rear and 7 in the front. Batteries included, the Cobalt includes an 80 volt 5 amp hour battery. The Ego includes a 56 volt 7.5 amp hour battery. They both include fast chargers. Now, my test time, I'm going to pull up a video now. All right, guys, so I now have no charge whatsoever in the battery. It's on the charger. We're going to go ahead and plug it in, and we are going to see how long it takes to charge. Okay, the charger is now flashing. It is charging, and the fan is on, so that's good news. Again, I will find out if this is a fast charger. Um, and I will obviously include that in the specs, but for now, we're going to go ahead and start our own timer to see how long it took to charge this 5 amp hour 80 volt max battery. We'll be back. Okay guys, 1 hour and 35 minutes to fully charge the battery. Alright, we should have three bars now here, and we do, and the, and the green light is solid. Alright, so when the green light is solid, and this thing turns off, your battery is fully charged, cooled off, and ready to go. And that tells me that this is a fast charger. Okay, let's see how Ego does. Okay, guys, time to plug in the Ego and uh, start charging this thing up. Uh, by the way, the lights stay green when the cell is actually charged or the fuel gauge is fully charged. So we are dead. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's see how long this takes. All right, she's fully charged. Took an hour and 12 minutes. And the Cobalt took an hour and 35 minutes. So fully charged, all five bars. All right, there you go. So the Ego Charger definitely charged quicker, okay? Weight. The Cobalt is 66 pounds. The Ego is 55.3. Warranty on both is five year on the tool, which is the mower, and three year on the batteries. Okay. 
I hope this helps. More to come. All right, guys, so let's talk about battery technology for a minute. Look, I have been using the Ego mowers now for honestly a little over two years. Um, and I got off gas. You guys have to check out my get off gas playlist. But, you know, I, I still compare, you know, Eagle mowers to everything because I want you guys to see these other mowers um, as well. But let's talk about battery for a second. So one of the reasons why they have done so well with their batteries is their design. They call it Arc Lithium. Okay. As you can see here, written right there on the top, Arc Lithium. And, and why is it called Arc? Because guys, the batteries are in a compartment that is shaped like an arc. And what that does is it, it lessens the amount of batteries that are actually on top of each other. The cells that are actually here, um, the more batteries you have stacked on top of each other and next to each other, basically the, the more heat you're going to create, okay? You know, when you look at the cobalt battery, it is a very square battery, right? And there's no way, um, you know, these are on top of each other. It's a guarantee, and I'm not going to take this apart. Um, as you can see, uh, the manufacturers have holes in them, right? Because they want to make sure that there's plenty of breathing room for a battery. Same thing here with, with uh, Ego, right? Plenty of, plenty of breathing room for your battery, okay? Especially here on the bottom where it connects. Um, but because their batteries are not stocked up on top of each other, they're arced, they basically breathe better, they will last longer, and they will give you more run time, okay? Guys, known fact, okay? Just wanted to share that with you. Again, I, my channel, you might see Ego on it a lot, but I always bring up other products. I want you to see the different stuff. I want you to make the decision. More and more, I just want to do the comparisons. I've done some head-to-heads. Those are fun, but it's really up to you to make the decision but I want to just give you the information. All right, I hope this helped. All right, guys, so now let's talk about platforms. Why would you want to be on one or the other in this case? All right, so the reason, you know, why you might want to be on one or the other is, bottom line, you want to know you have more tools to choose from, um, you know, when you're using that battery. You know, no one wants to buy another battery that only fits in a certain tool and that's really what it comes down to so let's start off with the cobalt so the cobalt has about 10 tools that i found after doing research um, authorized resellers are lowe's and a rumor for amazon but i have not been able to confirm that i haven't seen a lot of tools on amazon i've seen some the challenge i found with doing research on cobalt's 80 volt system specifically is when I went to their website, there were very few tools even available. I am now doing this in November of 2020, so just be aware. Let's go over their tools. So they have the 80 volt single stage cordless snowblower, the 20, 22 inch single stage uh, cordless electric snowblower, a 16 inch straight cordless string trimmer, a forward rotating cordless electric cultivator, a 630 CFM blower, a cordless electric pole saw, a leaf blower that goes about 145 miles an hour, a 26 inch dual hedge trimmer, and an 18 inch chainsaw, and a 21 inch mower. Um, now again, I've seen this in Cell Propel and in non-Cell Propel, which is what you're seeing today in this review. Let's go to Ego now. Now, Ego has about nine types of tools and 36 tools to choose from. Authorized resellers, Ace Hardware, Amazon, Lowe's, and Acme Tools from what I've found. On the hedge trimmer, you have three models. All right, the 24 inch, there's two types, and there's a 25 inch. On the portable power options, you have four models that are inverters. You've got the 3000 watt max power station, which actually consistently uh, has 2000 watts. You have a 150 watt power inverter, and you've got two models of the backpack link that you can throw on your back and take your, not have a battery in your string trimmer or something like that. I'm going to be doing a review on that soon. 
five models on the string trimmer. You have the blowers in the backpack. You have uh, seven different models to choose from when it comes to the backpack blower and the regular blowers. Anywhere from 480 CFM up to 650 CFM. Chainsaws, you have three models to choose from, 14, 16, and 18. Mowers, you have eight to choose from, all right? You're looking at steel or polycarbonate. You're looking at single blade or dual blade. You're looking at sing ba single battery or dual battery options. As far as another tool they have, it's called a multi-head tool. So basically, you buy this one piece that has the motor and everything, and there's seven different power heads you can connect to it. It's pretty cool. As far as snow blowers, you have three current models. You have the single stage that's been out for a while, but then you have a single single stage with a steel auger. And you just got the new 24-inch uh, two-stage uh, snow blower. I did a review on that as well. I'll put a link above on the upper right-hand corner. Lastly, you have two models on the edger. All right. And so, guys, it's interesting, you know, when you're looking at platforms you really have to say you're not going to go out and buy one tool and a lot of people make that mistake oh i need to go buy a string trimmer think about it if you have to spend a little more to get a string trimmer that's going to have a battery that's compatible with many many other tools why not do that and so in this comparison you make the judgment call obviously on how many tools to choose from and how many types i hope this information is helpful all right, guys, so let's go over advantages. Now, I will tell you that I'm writing this because I want to help you as much as possible. And the research I've done and using the Cobalt versus the Ego, I just want to give you some advantages from my point of view, and you make the decision. Now, let's get started with Cobalt 80 volt max advantages. Number one, the steel deck. It's harder to break. Number two, it has easy one-handed height adjustment. I love that lever. You can mow lower with the cobalt. All right, it can, low, it can mow as low as 1.38 inches. The Ego is 1.5 inches. The cobalt also has bigger wheels. It also has a really nice fuel gauge right on the handle. So while you're mowing, you know exactly where your battery is at. And lastly, this mower costs about $200 less than the Ego, selling for around $399. I believe it's $50 to $100 more for the one that has um, self-propel, which would be equivalent to the Ego. Let's go ahead and bring up the Ego 56 volt Power Plus advantages. Number one is going to be the polycarbonate deck. Guys, it's lighter and it won't rust. It also has an easy handle to make adjustments for lifting and lowering the handle, okay? And that means it folds easier and quicker. The mower can mow higher than the Cobalt. The Cobalt is 3.75 inches, and the Ego is four inches. The Ego has a faster charger that charges the battery quicker, as you saw earlier. The Ego has LED lights. If you're coming home late at night and you need to mow, you know the Ego has the LED lights. The battery has five bars on the fuel gauge and the Cobalt only has three. And that makes a difference, guys, because look, if I only have two bars on the Cobalt, is it really one and a half bars? Whereas on the battery on the Ego, if it's got four bars, it could be three and a half, but that's still a lot better. The mower is 13 pounds lighter because it doesn't have the steel deck. This specific mower also has a dual blade cutting system, plus they include a bonus premium bagging blade included. The Ego platform has 56 volt tools available, a, a ton of them, in comparison to the 80 volt currently today. The Arc Lithium battery produces less heat that means it's going to give you more runtime and it's going to last longer. All right, guys. So, with that, if you have any questions at all, please post them in the comments. I'm also going to ask you hey, give us a thumbs up. 
You know, if you can give us a thumbs up if this video helped you in any way, we'd really appreciate it. Lastly, on the upper right hand corner, you're going to see our Tech Made Easy logo pop up. Go ahead and click that, subscribe, become a member of our family, and don't forget to hit the bell next to subscribe and you'll get notified of our new videos. On the left side and on the bottom, we are going to place a couple of our playlists and videos. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful night.